very looking at your face, and I'll put it <laughs> Good morning, one and all, and thanks so much, Tressa. It's a pleasure. And thank you to director, and as I say, should be dean, Vicki Lawson, <laughs> Carrie, and all of the staff at the Honors Program for naming me for this honor. And thanks, too, for, to my colleagues on the Honors Advisory Board, some of whom are here today, for the great work that you're all doing to assist this staff and their great leader in bringing this program to what we will not satisfy or we will not be satisfied until is a world-class uh, program. It's very special to receive this award on this occasion, to meet and to congratulate Tressa, whose application I had the pleasure of reading as a new group of honors grads are being celebrated for their work and for the potential that they bring to our world. Graduates that come from many different departments, academic disciplines, graduates heading in different directions, but with a singular purpose, honed here during their work in the honors program. A singular mission to affect change, change through a social justice lens, change for the better, improving outcome for all people and for our environment, our home, the planet. Our world sorely needs them. In a moment like this, I can't help but reflect on my own commencement, just a few years back. <laughs> I was sharing with uh, Dean Taylor, Vice Provost Taylor, that I just cannot believe how big that number is now. It doesn't seem all that long ago. Like the honors program, I never would have predicted my path to today. I was the first in my family to attend college, had no idea what I wanted to do, but since I loved school, I figured I'd teach. That way I could stay in school all of my life. <laughs> honors was, an was a concept, a little bit more than a concept, but not much. We had a few special classes, opportunities for extended learning through lectures and the like, and a lounge for connecting with students sharing the desire for the propagation of excellence, but who had little and few opportunities to collaborate or to practice what we were learning. But here we are, me after becoming a lawyer and a judge, having had the glorious opportunity to apply my learning to various ventures in my community, state, and nation, me sharing the podium today with distinguished academics and a room full of soon-to-be world leaders. And the Honors Program, all grown up into a rich opportunity for innovation, interdisciplinary collaboration, and action. A few of those actions that you just heard Vicki mention. A holistic center for learning and problem solving that embraces rather than silos the complexities of modern life. Wow. I'm so proud to share this morning with the student grads, soon to be alums, so you'll be hearing from us, <laughs> uh, student grads and their families. Thank you for allowing me to share this day. And before we hear our main address, which is, of course, as should be, the student voice, let me share with you a piece, a small piece, not a verse, source of which is unknown, I don't even remember where I first found it, that may be as meaningful in the advancement of the Honors Program and for your individual advancement as it has been for me. The purpose of life is not to be happy. The purpose of life is to matter, to be productive, to have it make a difference that you live at all. Happiness, in the ancient noble verse, means self-fulfillment and is given to those who use, use to the fullest whatever talents God or luck or fate has bestowed upon them. You have a lot of all of that. Thank you so much.